Probably. Yep, that's it. I'm just a clown dreaming I'm a caterpillar. Oh, well, maybe I'm a caterpillar dreaming I'm a clown. Hmm. Well, if I am a caterpillar, I'd better try it out. Want to practice being a caterpillar with me? Okay. Wiggle! <laughs> and squiggle! Really wiggle! be a caterpillar. Hmm. I just want to be me, Lunette. What's that? I am Lunette? I'm just me tangled in my blanket? Oh, silly me. <laughs> silly tangled me. Well, how am I going to get out of this blanket tangle, Molly? Any ideas? Scissors? Cut my blanket? Molly, never. My blanket. Anyway, how could I? Can't really use my hands right now, and uh, the scissors are too sharp for you to use on your own. Hmm. I feel like I'm in a cocoon. Gee, I wish I could turn into a butterfly and just fly, fly away. You see, Molly, when a caterpillar is ready to turn into a butterfly, first it gets all wrapped up in a snuggly cocoon. Sort of like my blanket. Yes, that's right, in a cocoon. And then it changes. The caterpillar grows wings, honest, and changes into a butterfly inside its snuggly cocoon. Hey, maybe that's what I'm doing. Oh, maybe I'm growing wings. <gasps> yes, yes, I, I think I can feel something on my back. Two itchy spots. <gasps> Probably my wings are growing. Oh, Molly, I would love to be a butterfly. Then I'll just shed my cocoon. I'll just get rid of it and fly away. Stop. Stop what? You don't want me to turn into a butterfly. Aw, oh, Molly, that was just pretend. I'd never really fly away and leave you. I'd never leave you, promise. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I promise, Molly, honest. Listen, hush, little Molly, don't you sigh. I'll never be a butterfly. I'll never fly away from you. You're too precious, I love you. Hush, little Molly, you're my pet. Don't you worry and don't forget. I'll never fly away from you. You're my favorite, I love you. Promise, okay? Feel better? Good, me too, except, ooh. Boy, do I ever need to stretch. Um, is it okay if I go do my clock stretch now, Molly? I'll come right back. Thanks. I like to stretch my body every day. Do you?
idea. Now where... See, you know what I'm gonna do, Molly? I'm gonna do a puppet show for you. Oh, no, that's not it. Ah, here we go. Yep. And it's going to be called... The Looney Cocoony. Okay, Molly? So you just sit right down here. And there you go. Presenting the Looney Cocoony, or how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, with your helpful nature reporter, Lunette. The caterpillar is a crawly thing that likes to walk, climb, and eat. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Good. Then one day, the caterpillar gets a big idea. Today is the day, my special cocoony day. Then the caterpillar grows a snuggly blanket called a cocoon to take a rest in. So tell me, little caterpillar, what's it like inside a cocoon? Well, Lunette, it's comfy and cozy, and it's the perfect place to take a nap in and grow some wings. Ah, so that's your plan, is it? Yep. That's my plan. So, if you'll excuse me, please, I have to sleep. Growing wings takes a lot of energy. Hmm. Oh, I see some wiggling. Hmm. Could that little caterpillar really turn into a... Yes, a butterfly. Oh, what's happening? Oh. Ta-da! Yes, the caterpillar turned into a butterfly through the magic of nature. And the butterfly flies into the sky and flies away. The end. Thank you, thank you. Did you like that, Molly? Me too. I want to pretend to be a butterfly. Just pretend, Molly. No, that's not it, not, no. Oh, where is it? Oh, that's perfect. Ta-da! I am a big butterfly. And this can be my butterfly tongue. Oh, and Molly, you can be Molly Pillar, the little caterpillar in its cocoon. Now all we need is a pretty flower. Oh, no, um, no, not this. Oh, look at this, perfect. There we go. Now, would you like to see me flutter by because I am a butterfly? Yes, I am Madaba flutter by. <laughs> oh, what a pretty flower. I think I'll take a drink. That's good. Oh, hello, little Molly Pillar. Would you like a drink, too? Okay. Here you go. Drink up, Molly Pillar. And now I'm going to sing my famous Flutterby song for you. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, swooping in the sunny sky, coming down to the... Oh! Uh-oh, Molly. Gosh, Molly. Oh, you're stuck. Hold on. Oh! Oh no! Only one thing left to do! <gasps> Molly, you can fly! You must have grown your own wings already! Let's see now. Hmm. Oh, no. No wings. Oh well. Hey, would you like me to give you a nice back scratch? Okay. There you go. <laughs> Feel better? Good. You know what? I think I'm gonna go outside and see if we got a letter today, okay? I shouldn't be very long.
How are you today? Oh, hello, Lunette. Shoo! Shoo! Shoo fly! Don't bother me! Well, Granny, are those moths bothering you? They are bothering my beautiful cabbages. Don't you worry, my little cabbages. Granny Garbanzo will be protect you. Shoo! Shoo! You won't be a moth's lunch or breakfast. Ha-cha-cha! Or supper. Ha-cha-cha! Is that moth poison you're spraying on your cabbages? Oh, no, Lunetka. I would never hurt the little matskis. I just don't want them to eat my cabbages. So I made my special blocky mixture, ha-cha-cha. Your special blocky mixture, the ha-cha-cha? Hot chili pepper and onion juice, ha-cha-cha. I put it on my cabbages, and those hungry little matskis think it tastes yucky. So they don't eat my cabbages. My beautiful cabbages. Oh, you carrots are so beautiful, too. Potatoes, you get that out of your eyes. Fui! Turnips, don't be so rude. Whoa! Oh, yikes! Whoa! Whoa! Shoo! Shoo! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, hello, Major Bedhead. What's the matter? Help! There's a bee! It's chasing me! Please! want to hurt the little big bee, and Major Bedhead, it doesn't want to hurt you either. Stand still, like a statue, stand still. Well, what if he stings me? He doesn't want to sting you. Ooh. He will only sting you if he is afraid. So you don't want to frighten Ooh. the little oh. bee. Stand still, be calm, stand still. Don't move. Don't, Don't move. move. It's going away. It's gone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Package for Lunette the Clown. For me? Oh, thanks. Eddie McCasser sent us a pizza? Oh, good. Hmm. Well, maybe not so good. That thing was mailed weeks ago. Oh, read the note, Lunette. Let's see what your Auntie McCasser said. Let's see here. <clears throat> My dear Lunette, I was up at Mosquito Lake and I won the dance contest. First prize in the jitterbug. Ooh. So I'm sending you the music. It's terrific, and so are you. All my love, Auntie Macassar. Hmm. Ooh. I wonder what kind of music. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's an old record. It's called The Jive Jumpin' Jitterbug. Hey, I think I can play this old record on my gramophone at Miss Lunette's Dance Academy. <gasps> Molly will love this. See you later, Granny. Thanks again, Bedhead. Bye-bye. Meet you at the Dance Academy. It's the Jive Jumpin' Jitterbug! With my favorite dance partner and man in a mustache, Roberto! Want me to read you a story? Okay, well, can I borrow these, please? 
Thanks. Just put them on. Oh, and turn on the light. Because it's important to have good light. So you can see the pictures. Oh, and read the words, of course. Okay, now, comfy? Good. Can you see? This is the story of Sunny the Funny Honeybee. Ready? Once upon a time, I think it was yesterday, there was a beehive full of busy bees. Sunny days were dancey days for the bees. A bunch of bees would get together just outside the hive to do a special wiggly waggly dance. Then away they would fly across the fields until they found what they were looking for. Flowers. Those busy bees would dip and dive from one pretty flower to another, sometimes to gather the yellow pollen in the shopping bags on their legs. But mostly the bees like to sip up the sweet nectar from way inside the flowers. Why? To make into yummy honey, of course, for your toast. On cloudy days, the busy bees stayed home, but there was always lots of work for them to do in their hive. Cleaning, carrying, making waxy cupboards called honeycomb, feeding special jelly to their little brothers and sisters. And of course, making the honey. Busy, busy, busy bees. The bees didn't live in a real castle, but they did have their very own queen. And they all loved to work very hard for the queen. Well, all except for one little bee. She didn't like to work at all. Sunny the funny bee would rather have fun. She loved to play tricks on all her sister bees. When it was her turn to find flowers, she would do a wiggly waggly dance in silly circles. And instead of finding flowers, the bees would end up in a row of onions. We don't make onion honey. That's not funny, Sunny. Sunny thought it was. When it was Sunny's turn to make the royal jelly, she thought it would be good to add some peanut butter to the jelly for a treat for the little guys. This isn't the proper food for babies. That's not funny, Sunny. Sunny thought it was a pretty good idea. When it was her turn to neatly build the honeycomb, Sunny would do it her own way instead, using her imagination. Sunny thought her own way was much more fun and much more interesting. But the other bees didn't think so. We can't take care of the queen's eggs in silly, bumpy shapes like this. That's not funny, Sunny. Sunny thought it was. That was it. The busy bees decided it was time to go to the queen to tell. Sunny Bee is a silly bee, not a real honey bee. She isn't a worker. She can't do anything right. We think she's a wasp. A wasp? Well, I'll show them. I'll bring back more nectar than 10 bees, and I'll bring back more pollen than Polynesia. Hm. Away she flew from flower to flower for more than an hour. Dipping and sipping, Sunny went to work. She would show those bees at home. Just one more flower, that's all. Just one more drop of nectar. Finally, Sunny was full. Her shopping bags were almost bursting. Time to go home. Sunny flapped her wings. Uh-oh. She flapped some more. It was no go. Sunny couldn't fly. She felt as clumsy as a June bug bumping into everything. She was too full. Well, a bee has to go back to its hive, thought Sunny, no matter what. Bringing home the pollen and sweet nectar is a bee's job, but she was a good little bee. Sunny decided to walk all the way home, past the grasshopper hopping high, past a spider bouncing on her web. Sunny was getting tired, but on she went, past a ladybug crawling up a stem, past the cricket band making music by rubbing their knees together. Sunny kept going. Boy, was she tired now. Then she had to go all the way over an anthill, careful not to disturb the ants. And then, under a caterpillar, up on a twig. Sunny stopped. It was starting to get dark. She looked around. Where am I? Oh, I'm lost, that's what. I'll never find my way back. I'm not a real bee, I'm a dud. Sunny didn't feel very funny now. She felt lost and very scared. 
Sunny was so busy feeling sad that she didn't hear a big buzzy sound coming her way. It was the queen and a swarm of bees. They were looking for their lost Sunny. There is my little bee, said the queen. Oh, here I am! Over here! Here! Don't leave me! The queen put her wing around Sunny. Sunny, I would never leave you. I won't let you be lost. You are very special to me. I am? Of course. You are my funny bee. You make me laugh. Sometimes I'm so busy working, I forget to have fun. I see you've done a lot of work today. Good for you. Sunny felt very proud of herself. But now, said the queen, you need help. Sunny's sisters helped carry the heavy pollen home to the hive. And Sunny flew all the way beside her queen, showing her how to do some silly wigglies. That was once upon a time. Today, Sunny is a busy bee. Busy making honey and busy making jokes. The end. Huh. What a good story. Oh, I'm so glad the queen found little Sunny, aren't you? Yeah. Well, she would never let the little bee get lost. Just like I would never let you get lost either. Right? Right. Molly, let's have a snuggle now, okay? My blanket's around here somewhere. Hey! Who made this big mess? I did? Oh, well then, I have to clean it up. It's my mess and it's only fair. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! Now I'm ready for a nap. Here you go, Molly. Well, I'm glad you came over. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Molly. and the clown jumped over the moon. <laughs>